there's a swarm of bees right here by my house. I hope they go away. That is a lot of bees. Can you hear the sound? I don't know if you can see, but right there is where they're laying on the house. And they're just swarming the heck out of the house. trying to extract the beehive. We just cut the floor joists and they're really upset. Pulled out the insulation. So there it is. It's one, two, three, four, five, six whole combs of honey full of bees. Okay, Ben from the Bad and Magic Podcast here. I'm in this beekeeper pursuit. I'm about to climb up on my house and take a look at this beehive that moved into my house a couple weeks ago. This guy is vacuuming bees. What's your name, young man? Evan. Evan? Yeah. You're very comfortable around bees. I am not. I have not seen the queen yet. Pretty hard to spot her. So she's probably still in there? Probably. She's pro typically, it's honey on the outside. Yeah. And then the brood chamber with the baby bees and where the queen in lays the in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's possible too that all this comb looks really new. It would be, it's all nice and kind of white and yellow. Yeah. If it was old, it would be dark. Darker. Yeah, the oldest stuff is the color of that siding. Um, so this is all pretty darn fresh. So it hasn't been here long, but it's been here at least like eight days. This is the uh, amount of time for those to get capped. So. Yeah. I'm just sitting in my house. I'm like, what's that cloud of bugs out there? You can hear it. It's, uh, oh, yeah. Well, they must have took a while to make up their mind they wanted to move in there. Yeah, they'll collect somewhere and they'll go aside somewhere between two hours and two days. Usually. This has got to be like yeah. an alien abduction to them. Like, hey, yeah. where'd Bob go? Yeah. I don't know that they're that smart. <laughs> Anybody seen Bob? <laughs> There's a lot that's accurate in that movie and a lot that isn't. Oh, really? Yeah. I think that I think that's the lesson the internet wants to hear. Yeah. We all need to watch the B movie again. The one thing that's the, the big wrong thing with it is that almost all the bees in it are guys. And almost none of these are guys. I see. They they had their gender ratios wrong. The best part is when my kids watch it and they point out the discrepancies with the movie. That was not fact checked. My face itches, but I can't scratch it in this thing, but I'm very glad for that. Otherwise, I would be stung like a hundred times already. They're actually kind of leaving me alone. They're, they're still just, if we just sat here for five minutes, they'd be like, go back to business. Huh. Here's some of the brand new fresh comb that they just put in my house that we pulled out. I took a piece inside and tasted it. Like it's yummy. It tastes like clover honey. Not much. Not much? Not at all? So I heard that when this kind of thing happens that they gorge themselves on honey. Is that why they look like that? Uh, they will with all the smoke and stuff. They just ate a bunch of honey and now they're all like they think they're, drunk. Uh, they think their tree's on fire and a forest fire. And it's drunk. time to go. So, Evan, you got a, a bucket full of bees there? Yep. And we got a few that we've moved when we moved one of the six volumes of the hive into this box. And it looks like we're getting ready to take out another one. What's your name, by the way? Mike. Mike. Mike's taking out the second volume here. Oh, they're getting mad. There's a ton of honey on this one, too. Whoa. You can see all the baby bees in the middle there. That's a lot of baby bees. Yep. All right, Ev. Wow, the queen's been busy. Oh, they're really upset now. They didn't like that. 
Yeah, the peripheral vision in these suits is not good. <laughs> Here, bring the frame over. Here, what, turn it around. Let's just lay it there. Um, nice, well done. Yep. So those are all larvae, those capped ones? Yep. So there's larvae. So it's usually, uh, you can see the age progression in there. So the larvae will ultimately get capped huh. in there. Yeah, like I said, they've only been here just 10 days or so. It's amazing what they... Uh, and they've already set up all six volumes of the hive and partially filled it with honey and laid a bunch of larvae. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm really glad you guys have been able to relocate it instead of just exterminating them. Yeah, that's the sad part of it, is when, uh, to have to destroy that. Yeah, all that hard work. steal their honey later that, that that's that's not not talk for right now right it's a partnership yeah the alternative was genocide okay yeah yeah that's that's what i'm here for i'm the, the, <laughs> on the super i'm like hey you guys don't behave we're cutting you off <laughs> here's the deal i let your colony live you give me some honey i just had to whisper to him i'm like that guy's got insecticide in his van <laughs> <laughs> So you're just using tw uh, cable ties to secure the yep. comb? So I've got fishing line in there and cable ties oh, wow, to try look at that. to, and they will come through. Can you grab those other ones that didn't survive so well, didn't fare so well? I think that'll be our new process going forward. Nice. So we're trying to retain some of your work here, bees. They'll reattach it. Um, awesome. Up to the top and. So right here is what they usually feed the adult bees, like the baby bees right yeah. there. That dark bees. stuff uh -huh. is what the adult or the baby bees eat. Oh, nice. There was some of that in the piece that you gave me and I broke it off. I was like, ew, gross. What's that? I know, it, it tastes like terrible. Two work pretty good. Yeah, actually, it really tastes bad. My dad said it tasted sorry, delicious I and I ate it and I spit it out right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just popped me in the head. That's okay. I like that, Evan. I need stung. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, do you want me to do the box four? The small ones? Yeah, that worked yeah. good. Wow, that's fantastic. This is so cool, guys. I was afraid you weren't going to be able to get them out of the house. It looks like we're going to have a successful relocation of the hive. Yep. Right now, I'm just looking for the queen bee in these frames. The queen bees are usually two to three times the size of regular bees. Have you seen one? Yes, I've seen. I've never seen one, but there's one bee right now that is really determined to find the chink in my armor. Yes, it's probing my defenses. Uh huh. Yeah. Getting kind of nervous. Today? Yeah. And so they all go right for the hand as soon as I take the glove back off. Yikes. Right. Fixing up the bee vacuum. I guess it needs to have a good seal so you'll have enough suction. Yep. yep. Especially the way that they're oriented in there. It's one thing if they're just a big ball on a tree. But the way they're oriented up against that comb, it needs to be pretty darn tight. Can I try the smoker? Sure. Another mud dog Oh, I was like, what are they throwing stuff at me? And over here, he's like a kid in a candy store. Oh, this is going to go great on my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, I see. What? I see. You see the queen? She's in Italian. No, she's not. She's in Italian. What does that mean? <laughs> She's Italian. Alright, Ev. 
Well, I was gonna try the smoker and see if I could calm him down, but it, the fire's gone out a little bit. I think if you had smell o vision, it smells like a like a campfire. All right, pop down. You want to vacuum? Up? Bees, your tree is on fire. See? Coming out of. Alright. Fire. And I don't know what they think the vacuum is. <laughs> Careful with the comb, okay? I don't know why there's duct tape on my glove, but I definitely don't want to try to figure that out right now. Oh man, every little like twitch or itch on my hand or shoulder or ears right now just feels like, is that it? Is this how I die? You guys took the siding off in the house and I was like, ah, guess that's it. Nope. No bees today. Yeah, that was a lot. How, how, how do you, I heard when the hives get too big, they split up. So how does this how does this compare to a hive? Is this like a, a regular, medium, small? No, so this, this is, is a, a nucleus colony. Yeah. What you end up raising them in, and then uh, like a typical colony. So this has five frames. A typical mm -hmm. colony will be made up of boxes of ten. Okay. And they what the part that they live in is two boxes of ten. So this is like half a, a typical quarter, colony. Probably, half to a quarter of a typical. Colony. Okay. But. Uh, yeah, they'll, every one of those combs can, can like, if one of these frames, I think it's 2,000, something like that, uh, eggs and larvae can be laid on each one of those frames. Wow. So those are, you know, roughly the size of this. You saw the first one we took out, took out, filled a pretty good portion of that. Yeah. So the colony, you know, the bees will, in, during the summer will live four to six weeks. So, uh, you know, they need to build up their population. And a full-size colony can have like forty to 60,000 bees by the end of summer. Oh, well, I'm glad that many didn't move into my house. Yep. You've got thousands, but uh, not 40, but not, it's, it's half to a quarter. You want to get some more? Or you want um, to get I think it's ready to run the All right. I'm not sure you're like a beekeeper and it, you can't feel it. These are big. These are big. Yeah, most of it. Ooh, they're so mad. Oh my gosh. You got it, Ed? Yeah. They're probably also like, those are some really awesome shoes. Is the queen on that one? I don't see her here. Let's see. Okay. Got her on the bottom? Doesn't look like it. Nope. All right, we're still on the lookout for the queen. She's probably the one on the next one. Got it? The last one because I'll support it from the bottom on that side a little bit. <laughs> it's a weird sensation when deer are falling, crawling on your hands. Badly. You got stung through the glove? Yeah. They can get you through the glove just the goat skin much. or whatever, but man. I don't want to cry on your YouTube channel, so <laughs> I'm trying to hold it in. People these days. Yeah. Caught me right between the thumb and the index finger. So you have a couple just hanging out on you, Evan. Yeah. I, I don't know if they're trying to sting you or if they're already into like chill mode. Not sure. It's interesting because the hive's inside and you don't see inside that, uh, I don't know, it just feels like they're all chilling, but they aren't. Not until you open them. They are chilling until you open them up. 
Yeah, so the ones that are on the hive, they're they're chilling though, right? Right. Yeah. The ones I normally see are the ones flying in and out, so it feels like they're all like that. Oh, yeah, so larvae. these that are hanging out on the frames here are the nurse bees, probably. Ah. So they are the ones that tend to the larvae and aren't the ones that go out and forage. Okay. The ones that are, so they're guard bees that... The so there's some bees that are coming home right now and they're like, what did you guys do while I was gone? Yeah, what is going on? I here? left for 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it was perfect when I left. All right, let's see if that's... I think that's good enough or we need one more in the middle. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Man, this is fantastic. It's a ball of bees right there that you think that's the queen? Uh, well, no. Yeah. Nope. Not there. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Got it. <clears throat> I'm getting nervous. Sweating inside those beekeepers' outfit, but so far it's keeping me safe. But these bees are really going after it. These are the gloves I have on. They're covered in wax and honey. They've got duct tape right there, and I don't want to know why. I'll take it. Just poke my hand a little bit. Yeah, sure. Huh? What does that do? So when they sting you, uh -huh. they leave uh, pheromones <laughs> on there, and, and then the other ones, will, you'll, they'll just keep going for that same spot. I see. How how, uh, how would you rate the pain right now on, on the B scale? Not bad. No? Uh? It's worse when uh, you if stung. you do it when you're not wearing gloves. So this, it's it kind of goes in and pops out pretty quick. You don't get the full... I mean, it's dose. also bad if they hit you right on the string Through spot the pants? Yeah. Or if they go up your pant leg. Yeah. All right, let me hop up there, Ev. Do you smoke them? Or you want to vacuum them? Yeah, I'll vacuum them. I smoked them a bunch, so All right. I'm mostly going to the other side. So that changes, like, there's not as many flying around now, huh? Yep. Um, that actually just makes you go to different frames. Good? Go ahead. Let me go grab the next one. So that's a bunch of bee bread. Is what yep. they call the food for the babies. Oh. Does that just get in honey? Like when you when you press a hive for the honey, is that just in there? Usually they, they keep that on the frames near where they have the... So you try not to get it in the honey that you yeah. so usually you extract. Get, like, the two boxes I mentioned earlier that they live in year round. Yeah. And then you put honey supers on top of that. Hmm. So it's kind of... They live in the bottom and it's, you know, baby bees... Uh, pollen, nectar, and honey. And nectar is just, um, honey is nectar that's been dehydrated oh. to a certain point. Yeah, the, the honey that you gave me that was on that comb was really light and yeah. kind of watery. Yep. And a lot of times if you go like this and shake it, it'll drip out. Huh. But by the time it's honey, it won't. Um, so it's just natural dehydration from the water evaporating. Yeah. And okay. they'll flap their wings in there and, mm. um, cause it to dehydrate faster. And you can see all the different colored pollen in there. Yeah, let's take a look. Wow. So honey is like flower nectar. It's like their uh, carbs and the pollen's like their protein. Absolutely. Because bees like to have a balanced diet. All right, you get all of it. Evan, my kids would be so done right now. They would have noped right out of here. Oh, that's a nice one. Whoa. That's a lot. I'm gonna take a couple steps back. All right, reach that up here. Got it? Yeah. Right there. That, that one came out pretty clean. Nice. Finger again. Now they're getting a bit agitated. Sheesh. I'm just going to stay back here for this one. 
thought you were my zip tie tighter. tighter. <laughs> I can do it. That one looks like a lot of beef. Hey. Are you looking yeah, for the queen, Evan? Good. Did you find her? Um, no, not yet. Oh, look at this beautiful mite. Hmm? Look at that mite. Yeah. So. What are you pointing at, Evan? Um, there was a mite on a bee's back right here. Oh. Yeah. Um, it's one of the biggest. Uh, mites you've ever seen. Parasites to play bees. The bees. Huh. So what happens is when the bees go to cap the cell, right before they cap it, the mites jump off their backs and into the cell. <gasps> and eat the larva? And eat the larva and lay their babies in there and the babies feed on the larva. What? Yep. Those dirty buggers. Give them diseases and all kinds of stuff. So usually if you see some bees that emerge, like that have wings that are weird, it's usually because of mites. Huh. One of the big mites that are bad for them are called varroa mites. It's kind of amazing to me that when you pulled the floor joists out, that you imagined this would be what you were doing. Cause I just looked at it and I was like, oh, okay, I don't know what to do now. Cause like, that looks terrible. Is the queen on there? No, oh, there's a big cluster on the back Let's overhead. take a look. Sometimes she's similarly colored. Sometimes she's very differently colored. You don't have to get stung just to show me the queen though. Yeah. If she's similar, it's like trying like, to spy a celebrity. It's but... like a Where's Waldo. <laughs> it's, it's like where? where is Maybe it? I'll get to see her. Maybe uh -oh. I won't. Uh oh. We need to zip tie that one again. Yeah. Feel right through there. All that honey. Oh yeah, yep. And if she wasn't, they would have. Um, she was in there somewhere before we started after it. They would have evacuated. And they would have. Uh, they can turn any one of those cells. Man, I cannot believe this was not even in my house two weeks ago, and like they built this whole thing, now, filled it with pollen and nectar how, and how larvae, like, and made the whole thing from scratch out of wax. Well, yeah, any like any have egg. Like okay. they have, any um, egg can become the queen bee. Any fertilized egg. Yep. Have, uh, uh, royal jelly okay. to make and it's just tearing all over the place. So are they born a queen or are they born and then they, they leave because they're going to be a queen? They're laid as an they're laid as an egg, and then what they choose to feed it will determine whether it develops into a queen queen cell or not. I hadn't thought about the fact that the hexagonal construction of it meant that it had to hold up all the weight of the honey in it. Yeah. Hexagonal? I mean, it's Hexagonal? Just, yeah. Like, that is so, so new, Mike, that it's just... Weak, right? Super weak because of that, and because there's so much yeah, around the edges of this, it's just covered in pollen. I should have waited about another month. No, <laughs> we could put it back. No, no, no. All right. I couldn't mow the lawn. One stung me in the face. So this is a drone right here. Uh huh. He's bigger. Oh and, yeah! Wow, that one was big. Yep, yeah, he's big. He's bigger and has different eye positioning than a worker bee and a queen bee. So his eyes are much bigger. Um, he has. He's usually much thicker than a regular bee. So. Are they the warriors? Yes, they're technically the ones that. They're the Casanovas. The drones. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. They're not the warriors. They don't have stingers. Oh, you get a look at the rest of the hive in here. Man, look at that. 
Wow. We've already taken out three volumes of this hive. All right, bees, getting out of my house now. Where, so the queen leaves behind, everywhere the queen is, that she leaves behind pheromones. And the pheromones are like, tell the bees, hey, I'm here, I'm gonna like lay right here and this is where I'm gonna lay and stuff like that. So on a swarm, if there's the queen's pheromone on a tree. Okay. Right, if there's a queen pheromone on a tree you, and the queen's already in the bucket, they'll still go on the tree because they think the queen's still there because her pheromone's there. Hmm. So it'll stay there for a while. Wake up. Bucket OBs. You think there's more in the hive or more in the, um, oh, in the bucket? Definitely in the hive. There's more in the bucket than in the hive. <laughs> there's more in your house still than uh, <laughs> Either. Still Get right up along the, the roof there, or the ceiling there. Up. One more. Yeah. Thing up there that. Yeah. Oh, so you can kind of just count the lines on the on my floor in my bedroom, basically. Yeah. <laughs> like rings on a tree. You know, shake that in there. Up. No big deal. That was right underneath your bed, right? Yeah. So just shook them all up. My, well, my friend on my podcast was telling me that just yep. just one wrong move with a piece of furniture and they would all come in the house. But yep. obviously that's not the case because they weren't behind the drywall. They were in the floor joist. I can oh, geez, there's a big hole. That's what that duct tape was for. Whoa. <laughs> no. Oh, you didn't take the duct tape off. No, I didn't. But it came open and it was it was opening like a mouth. Like, hey, look. Oh, I'm afraid we're not going to get to see the queen. So there's just a couple of pieces of fishing wire in that frame to hold it while you secure it? Yep. Huh. <clears throat> so if there's an empty hive like this, mm -hmm. and will they just build on these frames the same yeah. way that we just kind of installed it? So they'll draw from that and they'll draw that down. I can put those frames so in a hive. You bought that with <clears throat> like wax dribbled on it? We bought it as the pieces and put hmm. the fishing line and dribbled the wax ourselves. Oh, cool. So we save every scrap of wax that, um, that we get from working on hives and that kind of stuff. Look at that. And then melt it down. Very cool. <clears throat> Where's the queen? Here, queenie, queenie. Whoa. Did you just blow on it, Evan? Yeah, seeing if she was under that bump. Well, that made a move. What are they doing? Let's watch this one right here. Mm -hmm. Come on, focus. You can see after we tore them all apart, they're still not. I'm really nervous about this piece of duct tape on my hand. Oh, they're probably not going to get through that. <laughs> it came off a second ago. Keyword probably. When I, when I wasn't looking. Just one. Let's look at a different spot. I think that's good. Just trying to mash that in there a little bit, see if that helps at all. <laughs> Put them all over to the right. Okay, I'm gonna do three of them on this one. Yeah. It's pretty big and pretty well intact. It's dripping honey on the ground. Yeah. Tell me some more bee facts, Evan. Um, usually the darker the comb, the older it is. Or sometimes the darker the comb, it means the brood chamber. Like brood comb is usually darker than regular honeycomb. Because they fill it with that dark pollen? Yes. And from the cocoons? And now, Mike, 
I see some people sell the cone. Uh-huh. Uh, like, what is that, like, for? I mean, what's the... It's just uh, a... Is it, is it, is it, uh, like, do you eat it? Yeah. You just pop it in your mouth. Okay. You, all the honey just squirts right out of it. Yeah. And then... Uh, you, you just spit the wax <laughs> And then you can chew the wax like gum and spit it out. Yeah. Or if you're like me, I've never spit out a piece of gum in my life, apparently. <laughs> That's disgusting, gum. So you can see that's wow, that's power. really dark. It's cool to hold it up to the sun like that. It looks like a, a Minesweeper game or yeah. something. Eggs in there. The it's another thing that people stole from the bees, I guess. Minesweeper. Yeah. Calm down, bees. It's okay. We're moving you out of my house and into someplace safe. Good job, Evan. Keep it up, get those bees out of my bedroom. It was kind of calming to lay in bed and listen to the sound of bees gently humming two feet away from my head. Awesome, could you hear it? Yeah. Really? Hey, don't you sting me, you bee. To push my duct tape down. I don't know, but we're going to work with it. Okay. I'll never get to see her. There's still a frame left. She might be in the bucket. Maybe she got vacuumed? Wouldn't they be looking for her then? Uh, well, we, we've created a lot of chaos. There's probably not a lot of... <laughs> not a ton of organization. I'm gonna What's going on? Order. Here. What do they make the wax from? Where do they get it? Pollen, or uh, nectar. Huh. So it takes six pounds of nectar, or six pounds of honey to make a pound of wax. Clustering on the end of that pretty good. That is fine. Nope. All right. situation up here see what's left oh man they're like we don't need we don't need a stinking beeswax we'll just hide in the corner here dang <laughs> uh, i might be <laughs> i might be Refuse to get your kids an Xbox, and you can. And they want to go vacuum bees. Man, they're so efficient in their use of materials. They create are, the perfect structural. You know, they waste nothing. Like even the larva that gets damaged. They eat it. They end up cannibalizing it, but huh. use it just to not waste the protein from it. This little guy right here is gonna be like, "Where did everybody go? Where did everybody go?" is the worst <laughs> for these guys 2020 is <laughs> pretty bad. the only year <laughs> yeah it is the only year what's the lifespan of a bee in the summer four to six weeks in the winter except that's for the it queen. yeah in except the, for the queen. the queen so in the bee the movie they were right there you literally will work yourself to death so that one that stung me could be like a cranky old coot and die of old age probably was yeah uh. yeah one more. Do you have siblings, sure. Evan? What? Do you have he brothers and sisters? Siblings. He's one of five. Ah, nice. One of them's absolutely terrified of bees, so that does not go well. Where are you in the bunch, Evan? Oh, I, I'm in the middle, actually. So, I got a little brother and sister, and then I got a big brother and sister. Do they like doing the beekeeping stuff? Um, usually it's just me and 
sometimes it's my little brother. You got a pocket bee down here. He's like, I'm just gonna go home with Evan in his pocket. That's pretty little. Why is this bee doing? You know, bee, you're on my insulation from in my floor. You're getting kind of fearless. They aren't being real aggressive right now, though, I gotta no. admit. As I said, as long as you know, this is way cooler than I expected, Brady. Uh, I was just, I was just putting out some fires that popped up at the end of the day. I can go in and deal with those later. What does having one more colony kind of do as far as like for your overall production? So these guys would, will probably take, like if I were to, to take these and try to turn them into a full-size colony, uh -huh. the goal for the end of this year would just be to get them built up enough, like into their two deep boxes, uh -huh. and enough honey for them to get through the winter. Okay, so then, no production this year? No, if you did, it would be a stretch goal. Mm. Um, but the real, you know, the biggest thing is just to get them to survive through the winter and, and be built up enough for that. Um, and then next year, hopefully, um, you know, come out of out of winter and into spring and start booming and, you know, and then start making enough honey to refill their reserves from the winter and then uh, make some surplus for us. Yeah. Come on, bees. Get in the bucket. You want to go with your friends. There you go. Get in the bucket, bees. They could live in there until they get to the point of outgrowing it. Okay. So, say so, I mean, how, six weeks. And welcome to your new home, bees. Okay, so, how season. much longer would they have, have? You know, I mean, that was like you know a perfect little house in there. Yeah. I, mean, I, I can see why close it's to that. there. Yeah. Like, yep. I can see why they picked that. It's like a perfect little little box. Protected from the elements. Yeah. The right like, volume. Yeah. But how long would they have been in there? Would they would have done? probably swarmed again in a month or so okay. and split. So, in a month, they, they could have. Yeah. Wow, they had that build the capacity, yeah. and so and you could see all the, the baby bees one, that were going to be, yeah. and they wouldn't have like been like, okay, let's go to the next side. If so, all those larvae would hatch, and, it would, and then there would be too many. And you'd go, you know, and they could another, go another, another, another. Like, if they run out of space, then they'll split because the colony is all right. The let's go look at the remnants. Yeah, so that's how they. You know, reproduce it's yeah the colony needs to grow and split and grow and split and yeah, things so are good so it's pretty well cleaned out of there <laughs> you can just see a little bit of wax on the on my bedroom floor <laughs> you can kind of see the glands so get pretty much on the back of their body uh, right here night, you see it um, like towards the back, the, it's opened up, yeah, I mean, I and the they're also fanning, so that means the queen's in here. Okay. Really? I yep. Just, uh, I, I don't want you think the queen's in there, huh? It's positive. I don't either. Yeah, All right. I don't want somebody to get stung in the meantime because well, no, they're getting so tested. That's not gonna, yeah. And you think you can tell that just so, from I mean, this one right here, what he's doing? Um, yes, yeah, be, I'll, well, I'll if there was many more, I could be a lot more okay, sure, but since many of them are in there, and they're eager to get out. She's probably in there. Huh. And there's probably some more down in there. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think we need to play Fly the Valkyrie. Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 da. So we lost a couple, but mm, only a couple. Well, Evan thinks the queen's in there. We'll find out in a second if they start collecting on the lid. got the bucket of bees right there and the hive full of their comb and all the bees you can see them kind of recovering and congregating over there there are my bees just in the back of the their brand new br first day they bought it <laughs>
<laughs> oh, and your sister came to get you. In the back of this brand new car. Bye, Evan. Thanks for getting the bees out. That looks like a new car, too. Good Lord, no. Did you get stung? No. Huh.